Peter Ox here with round one of Project SCX Old to SCX New. A couple disclaimers. Uh, first of all, the starting point here was not a stock SCX-10. This is a pretty built rig from the time I first put it together. A fair bit more capable than a typical stock SCX-10 would have been. I ran it in class two at East Coast Scale Challenge last year and it did pretty well on some tough courses there. The second disclaimer is that I didn't get a chance to get good reference footage before I started making some of these changes. So I apologize for that. Some places you're just going to have to take my word for the impact that some of these changes had on the way the truck was performing before. I will try to include as much reference footage as I can as we go through the progression here so that you all can get a chance to see the impact of some of these changes. So with that said, let's talk about round one, first round of changes. So the first thing that we did was we put the new Bauhaus RC NC60 axles on this truck. The NC60 axles, uh, we just recently released those at Bauhaus RC. They are an SCX10 with axle that provides Wraith steering. So they accept Wraith knuckles and C hubs. They accept the Wraith uni short side universals on both sides of the pumpkin. They use stock uh, SCX10 rear axles with uh, Wraith lockouts and uh, use most of the rest of the hardware that you would have in an SCX10 axle, uh, but with dual oversized uh, pinion bearings for added durability. And so the big benefit is you get the Wraith steering with the SCX10 with axles and you get to reuse um, some of your uh, stock SCX10 uh, axle parts uh, in the process and the conversion. We had a chance to take these two trucks out in the driveway to test out the steering with the new axles. I had my assistants, Rue and Scrunch, helping me out with the testing, and I was very pleased with the results. The G6 now with the NC60 axles turns as tightly or even a little more tightly than the SCX10 II does, and uh, it was actually held back even a little bit by these big, beefy RC four-wheel drive 4.75-inch Baja claw tires, which have a tendency to rub a little bit as they're approaching full lock. Uh, down the road I'm going to be swapping these out for a little bit of a smaller tire and we should be able to gain even a few more degrees of steering. Uh, there's definitely an improvement over, a big improvement over stock and an improvement over uh, the steering that we had on this truck before I started making these changes, so uh, I was quite pleased with that. The other changes that I made to the truck in this round were to the suspension and uh, also lowering the body. The primary goal of doing that was to lower the center of gravity a bit. Um, in its previous configuration, it was riding a little bit high, and so I wanted to bring that center of gravity down a bit. So with the shocks, what I did was I actually changed the upper shock mounting locations, and I moved the uh, upper shock mounts to the centermost holes on the shock hoops, both in the front and in the rear. In the rear, it's moving them up, in the front, moving them back. What that does is that actually uh, lowers the uh, effective spring rate and allows the truck to run in almost a semi-droop uh, type setup, and uh, which brought that, that center of weight down. I also uh, lowered the body post a little bit so that we can get that body down a little bit further. And I changed the shock oil. Uh, I had been running the stock shock oil, I believe it was 30 weight front and rear. Changed that to 70 weight up front and 100 weight in the rear. And the goal of doing that was to dampen the suspension travel, slow down the suspension cycling a little bit to make the truck a little more stable when running over uneven terrain. And as you can see from the videos, uh, the truck is doing really nicely now, climbing over the rocks and uh, up and around different obstacles. So feeling pretty good with how the G6 was coming along, I decided to take them out for a little comparison test to some challenging terrain right here in the neighborhood. First place I tested them out was on a very steep section of a rock-filled drainage culvert uh, in the neighborhood here. And the nice thing about this steep section is that the rocks are quite uneven and uh, there's some dirt in between, so the traction is, is highly variable. And it really puts a truck to the test, tests out the overall balance of the truck, its ability to handle climbs off camber, side hill and deal with situations where traction could go from very loose to, um, uh, to very tight traction. And what I found was that the G6, as you can see in the video, uh, although it did pretty well, as we got close to the top, it really struggled to make its way over the last set of rocks before it, it, it reached the top. We tried this same line a few times with the G6, and each time, as you can see, we got to about the same spot, and as we were looking for traction, looking for traction, 
and start bouncing around and eventually become unsettled enough that it would tumble down the hill. Got a couple of fun little tumbles there. And on that same section, the, the SEX-10 II seemed to be just a little bit easier to control, uh, especially at one point where it was trying to find its grip and uh, it was a little easier to keep it steady on those rocks until the tires were able to, to find the traction, find their bite, and, and get up those, those last few rocks. So watch here, same area that the G6 was struggling with. I was able to continue to give the SCX-10 II throttle and keep looking, keep looking, keep looking. And yeah, there's a little bit of bouncing going on, but not to the extent that we had it with the G6. And at no point did I feel like I was on the verge of losing control with the SCX-10 II. You can see here we're able to just get up and over this set of rocks that we couldn't quite get with the G6. Here we go, a couple more bounces, and up we go. And there's another little spot here where I think the G6 would have become unsettled and might have tumbled sideways down the hill, but I was able to keep the SEX-10 II under control and made it all the way up. I also tested out some side hilling on a fairly steep hill with very loose pine straw. The video doesn't quite do justice to how steep it is, but it's, it's a fairly steep pitch. And what I found uh, doing the side hilling is that although the G6 is uh, a pretty good, a pretty capable rig on a, on a side hill, uh, it wasn't quite as easy to control and easy to manage as the SEX-10 II, and when it really got close to the limits, it was uh, a little bit easier to keep this one on its feet, although eventually uh, we did get a little tumble with the, the SEX-10 II. So there again, I uh, still give the advantage to the uh, SEX-10 II. So where does that leave us? Well, we obviously still have a little bit of work to do on the G6 to get us to the point where she can keep up with the new kid on the block. I'm gonna do the GCM forward motor conversion, which takes the motor and tranny from the center skid, which is where they are stock, up to the front of the truck, which is where they belong, where they would be on a one-to-one. -one. Uh, that forward motor conversion is a great little kit. I run it on both of my ascenders, so I'm really looking forward to, uh, to putting that into the, the SEX-10 here. And uh, I'm also going to be swapping out the wheels and tires. I want to go with a lighter wheel and a little bit of a smaller tire to get a few more degrees of steering there and, and bring that weight down. Right now, this truck is sitting at about 7.5 to 8 pounds. This one is sitting at about 5.5 to 6 pounds. That's without battery. So uh, bringing the weight down a little bit is going to help us out a little bit with, uh, with the handling. And uh, also going to be swapping out the ESC. I'm running a Viper VTX-8 in there right now, and we'll be swapping that out uh, probably for a uh, Holmes Hobbies uh, Trailmaster BLE ESC, a little bit more compact, a little bit lighter. And uh, from there, we're going to see how we do, and at that point, figure out what's going to be next. So thank you for watching, and please check back for the next round of updates on Project SCX Olds to SCX New.